Hi everyone, my name is Bindu and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about building relationships between tables in Power BI. Building relationships between tables is the basic topic in Power BI, but it is the most important and most underrated topics of all. This is because if you don't know how to create the proper relationships between tables, you will not be able to get the right data. And without right data, there's no value to your Power BI report. So that's why you need to understand the relationships very well. So without any delay, let's get into the video. If you look at my screen here, I created a blank Power BI report and I also loaded data from Sample Adventure Works database. So I loaded customer, product and sales information from Adventure Works. Okay, so what is my requirement now? I want to know the sale amount for each product. Okay, that's my requirement. So for that, I need to get the details from product and sales data set. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the product from product data set and sale amount from sales. Okay, so if you look at this visual here, this table here, for all the products, you see the same sale amount. Why are you seeing this? This sale amount you are seeing here is the total sale amount for all the products combined. You are seeing the same sale amount for all products because there is no relationship between product and sales. So there is no relationship between these two here. That's why you are seeing this abnormal result. To have the correct values here, what do you need to do? You need to build the relationships between the tables. Okay, for that, you need to go to the model tab here and if you are a beginner you can let power bi help you create these relationships for that you need to click on manage relationships on the top and say auto detect here and it detects two relationships here and say close close this also see power bi is smart enough to create the relationships between two tables but if you are not a beginner, you have some experience in creating these relationships, you can create it manually. Why I am saying this? Because sometimes uh, the names of the columns you are trying to join might be different. In that case, Power BI will not be able to uh, auto detect the relationships. Okay. So if you look at my screen here, I deleted all the relationships that Power BI has created for me. Now I am going to manually create the relationships. So how to start creating the relationship between the tables? So you have to start with the master, master tables. What are master tables? Master tables are the lookup tables which don't have any duplicates in them at the ID level, at the key level. So if you look at these three tables, product table is the one which is like a master table. It doesn't have any duplicates in them. So if you take one product key, there is no other row with the same product key in this table. So this is what, so this is how you identify the master table. So from, from this product table, I'm going to create a relationship between, um, I'm going to create a relationship to sales table. So there's also a product key column here. I'm just joining these two. And when I do this, Power BI automatically creates one to many relationship between product and sales because it knows that there's only one product key uh, in a product table and there are duplicate product keys in product key table. That's why it creates one to many relationships. And if you look backwards in the reverse direction, it will be many to one from sales to product. So if you double click on this, you'll be able to see the cardinality here, many to one. And if you see this, it is from sales to products, right? You say, okay. And the same way, I'm also creating this relationship between customer table to sale table. I have a customer table in sales as well. So I'm creating a relation between customer and sales. So customer table has just one customer key. There are no duplicates on customer key level and sales table and sales table can have multiple uh, 
rows for customer key. Okay, and when you double click on this, it shows menu to one from sales to customer. So this is how you create basic relationship between tables in Power BI. So this is how you create basic relationships in Power BI. In case you want to know how to create relationships between tables that have duplicates, then you'll have to wait for my next video. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe and see you in the next video. Thank you.